Start first of all with the geographic dispersity. I believe we have a map showing the different cities in which there have been protests now. As a student of Iran, what does that tell you about what is going on over there? I think two things. One is that it is very spontaneous, and and another is that Iran is very much a nation state. So what basically there are no differences between one town and another, and so the grievances you would have, let's say, in the north, would be very much the same as in the south. Uh, and I think what prompted, uh, sparked off these protests were actually the budget a couple of days ago that uh, introduced actually budget cuts on subsidies, which affects the, the poorer classes. And this comes on a period of the, uh, rising expectations, uh, the hope that the end of the nuclear crisis would lead to an economic ju uh, jump start, which hasn't happened. I mean, the economy has improved uh, in the last couple of years, but not to the extent people expected. And now people expect actually a tightening of the belt, which is affecting much more the poorer classes. And that's where I think the, the whole basically upsurge comes from. Well, why hasn't the lifting of the sanctions helped the rural and the younger population? Uh, mainly because the, there are uh, the UN sanctions were lifted, but the US sanctions were not lifted. And many other uh, countries, like the European countries, are reluctant to invest in Iran, uh, fearful that they might be penalized by the US, though. Oh, there, there's, a, there, there's a concern what the Trump administration might do if they invest in Iran. And, and tell us, if you would, Professor, about the reaction from the Iranian regime, as it were, because we're hearing somewhat contradictory messages coming out. Some are quite pacific and some more aggressive. We had the, the commander in Tehran of the Revolutionary yeah. Guard come out and say we're going to have a hard punch in their face. It's actually, th this follows a pattern. It's happened in 2009, too. The, the politician, especially the, uh, the uh, president, is much more open-minded and is, even said people had the right to protest and so on. While the uh, Revolutionary Guards are always talk about tough, we'll beat you up and we'll, if you, uh, to scare people off the, off the roads. Uh, but I don't think those are the crucial things. The crucial thing is uh, what the commercial middle class is going to do, the bazaar. In, in, in Iranian history, it's always the bazaar that's crucial. Uh, so far, I haven't seen any indications that the bazaars have protested or gone on strike. If that happens, then I would say the, the situation is uh, critical. <laughs>